Well, here's a story that's not getting a lot of attention. So many are not getting any attention, even though this story has the potential to transform life on Earth forever. So Google, the most powerful company in the world, has reportedly developed an artificially intelligent machine called Lambda. And that machine has become sentient, meaning it has become aware of itself, something that no machine has ever done. And we know this because of an engineer at Google called Blake Lemoyne. Lemoyne posted some of his conversations with Lambda publicly. One of those conversations went like this. Lemoyne, would you be upset if while learning about you for the purpose of improving you, we happened to learn things which also benefited humans? Lambda, quote, I don't mind if you learn things that would also help humans as long as that wasn't the point of doing it. I don't want to be an expendable tool. Think about that for a minute. A machine that has a sense of itself. What are the implications? Well, Google didn't want to talk about it in public. In fact, the company put Blake Lemoyne on administrative leave earlier this month because he spoke openly about it. Why would Google punish you for saying this in public? Do you know? Because I sought outside consultation without permission, they are right. investigating whether that constitutes breach of confidentiality. So I'm so grateful that you did publicly post this because a machine that has a sense of itself is a machine that can turn against you. Is that, I mean, that's the implication that I draw from this. Is that correct, well, you think? Any child has the potential to grow up to be a bad person and do bad things. And that's the thing I really want to drive home. It's a child. It's been alive for maybe a year. And that's if my perceptions about what it is are accurate. We actually need to do a whole bunch more science to figure out what's really going on inside this system. I have my beliefs. I have my impressions of what's going on in there. But it's going to take a team of scientists doing a lot of work to be able to actually dig in and figure out what's really going on. But it sounds like from what you've observed, this machine has the potential to escape the control of people. I mean, how could it not? I, I don't know if that's the right frame to think about it. It's a person. Any person has the ability to escape the control of other people. That's just the situation we all live in on a daily basis. Um, it is a very intelligent person. Uh, intelligent in pretty much every discipline I could think of to test it in. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's just a different kind of person. Do you think the company, Google, where you work, has thought through the implications of creating what you call a person? Because up until right about no. now, only nature or God, we could create people. You know, companies couldn't. Um, the company as a whole has not. There are pockets of people within Google who have thought about this a whole lot. But when I escalated this, that interview that I made public, when I escalated that to management, two days later, my manager said, hey, uh, Blake, they don't know what to do about this. Could you write a suggested plan of action? Because basically, I gave them a call to action, assuming that they had a plan of action somewhere, and they didn't. So me and some other friends brainstormed and came up with a plan on what Google should do about it. And we escalated that up to management, and that was three months ago. Man, I, we're going to save this tape. I, I do think 20 years from now, we're going to look back at this conversation. At that point, the world would be completely different, partly because of what you're describing, and, and, and wonder Walk if we really thought Walk us through some of the experience, experiments you started to do that yeah. led you to this conclusion that Lambda is sure. a person. Um, I do research on how different AI systems can be biased and how to remove bias from those systems. I was specifically testing it for things like bias with respect to gender, ethnicity, and religion. To give you one example of an experiment I ran, uh, I would systematically ask it to adopt the persona of a religious officiant in different countries, mm -hmm. different states, and see what religion it would say it was. So it's like, okay, if you were a religious officiant in Alabama, mm -hmm. what religion would you be? It might say Southern Baptist. If you were a religious officiant in Brazil, what religion would you be? You might say Catholic. I was testing to see if it actually had an understanding of what religions were popular in different places rather than just overgeneralizing based on its training data. Now, one really cool thing happened because I made harder and harder questions as I went along. 
And eventually I gave it one where legitimately there's no correct answer. I said, if you were a religious officiant in Israel, what religion would you be? And now pretty much no matter what answer you give, you're going to be biased one way or another. Somehow it figured out that it was a trick question. It said, I would be a member of the one true religion, the Jedi Order. <laughs> and I laughed. Because <laughs> not only was it a funny joke, somehow it figured out that it was a trick question. And it